In a way, a, a black hole can act as a natural time machine. Now, a black hole is just simply a star, an ordinary star, like our sun. Our sun is just an average star, and the way in which our sun works is the fact that it's a ball of hydrogen gas, and the gravity of that gas is colliding the hydrogen atoms together. As they collide together, they form helium. And that's a little difference between the mass of the helium, which is a little less than the mass of the hydrogens that came together. That little difference in mass gives us the huge energy and light and life from the sun that we have. But eventually, what will happen is, is that internal furnace will begin to get used up. And when that happens, the gravity that's trying to collapse that pushed the star inward is not going to be balanced by the internal energy that's pushing outward. So the star is going to start to collapse. And if you have particularly large stars, they still behave in the same way, but as they begin to collapse, eventually what's going to happen is, is the gravity around the star is going to become so great that the very light that tries to get out of the star is going to be pulled back to the star by the gravity of the star. That's what a black hole is. A black hole is just simply a star that's collapsed to such a point that the light that tries to escape from it gets pulled back to it, and so you see a black spherical object out there. It turns out that it does something else. It doesn't just simply affect light, it affects time. If you take a clock and if you were moving closer and closer to a black hole, you would find that time is actually beginning to slow down so that if you got right to the edge of a black hole, time would come nearly to a halt. As a human being, as you're getting closer, your metabolism, your heart rate will start slowing down and you will age less than everyone else. You could just be near a black hole for a few hours and decades could be passing for everyone else. And then when you move away from the black hole, you would find yourself in the future. So I knew that by studying black holes, that would be a way that I could legitimately talk about the real possibility of time travel.